Hello. The Pitt basketball team kicked off the 09-2010 season tonight with a victory over Wofford. Yeah. I couldn't tell you where Wofford is either. I think it's South Carolina. They won. You expect Pitt to win these sort of games. It's November. You don't expect Pitt to lose in November. Who Pitt never loses in November? They won 63-60. They didn't take the lead until the last five minutes of the game. They were down by seven at ha the half. Should have been ten, but they hit a last-second three-pointer. I'm bumming because... We're going to have problems this year. I don't know where the points are going to come from. I mean, it took hero it took heroic efforts by Brad Wanamaker and Gary McGee and Dante Taylor in the second half for Pitt to come back. But for most of the game, the offense... It looked like everybody was just standing still. It's like, it just looked really... It lacked cutting edge. I mean, again, comparing to last year, I mean, last year, on the break, the team came up to the court. A lot of the times, it could just go straight to the basket. This team can't do that. This team just... I don't know where the points are going to come from with this team. And so, for Pitt, Pitt's going to need a lot of a very stout defense... Which is good because you would expect that from Pitt, but points tonight where the defense just looked bad. I mean, Dante Howard's excellent on offense. On defense, he just flat out looks lost. He'll go out to hedge on a um, screen, and he'll just follow them halfway over, across the court, and that'll leave his guy, just wide, the guy he was on, just wide open for the pick and roll. Which causes... People to cover around to him, and then that just shifts everything, and it's just, and Dante Taylor gets stuck in no man's land, and it's just, he has a lot to learn. He is a freshman. This team is young. They'll get a lot better when they get um, Dixon back, Jermaine Dixon. They'll get better when they get Gill back from his academic suspension. Tonight was a win. Apparently they were nervous. Apparently there were a lot of butterflies. They got the win. It's important. It's not a loss. It wasn't until the last five minutes when they started to actually look like pit. Ba started to look like pit basketball. It looked like something completely different. I mean, during the first half, first half Brad Wanamaker versus second half Brad Wanamaker, it was like two completely different people. We didn't get it at all. So, pit wins. I guess that's the important part. They play Binghamton next week on Tuesday. That's our next home game, next game. Um, Binghamton's apparently an interesting situation. Apparently they're going to be fielding a team mostly with walk-ons. Apparently um, they have tr the way they tried to build their program was um, by bringing in lots of shady characters. And they made the tournament last year, which is good. However, because they're shady characters, most of these players have been since thrown off the team. And it will apparently be bringing a lot of walk-ons with them. Not good for Tony, for Tony Kornheiser yet. All right. Again, kind of disheartening. Ga tonight's game I'm just really disheartened about. Not the way I expected my big pit sports weekend to start. So, hopefully that was the only bad performance for the pit teams this weekend. That would be good for tomorrow. All right. I'm John. I'm done. Bye-bye.